Yeah, you might want to just type it. Especially if it's short. Okay, so what is your plan from here? You still have one potion left. Um, is there a cure minor potion somewhere? Because I'd like to take another another potion. I don't want to go in there and wounded. Uh, yeah, both you and Barda are down uh, four and five hit points. There is a cure minor. We have one more potion. That, that's for you. I'm going to drink that potion. Okay. And Cure Minor will bring you to base. And you're officially potion free. It gives you more, not less. Okay. Uh, so what are you doing? Um... Well, I know the door's not trapped because they just opened it up, so um, I guess I'll open the door a crack and look down the hall, or look down into the, uh, I'm just going to assume it's the hallway. Yep, you open the door, and beyond the door, there's a small uh, uh, foyer at the top, and then it slopes down uh, at the end of the tunnel. I think it's about 15 or 20 feet. There is a uh, a light source. Hang on, I'll move you guys over there. Okay, can everyone see the tunnel? Yep. 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 Okay, well, you can proceed at your discretion. Okay, um, I will stealth and slowly make my way down the corridor checking for traps. Okay, roll your perception check. Okay, when you get to the bottom of the uh, uh, tunnel, there is a tripwire across the doorway. Okay, I will attempt to disable the trap. That's just disable the device, right? Yep. Okay, you manage to uh, disable the trap. You notice um, when you clear the doorway that there are like some old pots and bottles and stuff hung from a uh, string on either side that would have made a hell of a sound if you'd pulled on that cord. Okay. I'm still checking for traps as I move. Okay. go to the, the corner wall there when I see that that's where the hallway is, and I'll peer down the corridor. I have to move to see. Um, I 
guess I'll do. You can roll a perception check. You do not notice anything. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll wave my companions up because it's safe to come to this point. I'll take the second person forward. And... Did you roll a stealth check, Corey? Uh, no. no. I assume you're sneaking. Yes. No, I said I was sneaking. Okay. Uh, are you moving up quietly, Barda? Not quietly. Think I'm though. Sorry. What was that? Not very quietly. Think I'm Okay. Okay, uh, Corey, you can make another perception check. You don't see anything, but you hear some movement um, beyond the next uh, opening, and it corresponded with Barda moving up. Okay, well, I, I put my hand up to stop him, and then I will... Sneak to the other side of the, like there. Okay. I guess you want to stealth check, right? Yep. Because I'm hiding there. I'll have my swords out. Okay, you can roll a perception check as you move past. You still do not see anything. Okay, I will say in Goblin, give me a hand down here. Okay, you want to roll a linguistics check? Yes, but I got to find my linguistics. Uh, one of the goblins yells back, what are you doing? You're supposed to be on watch. It's watch isn't over yet. Get back to work. And that came from just down the hall? Uh, yeah. When you, when he says that you can see there's four goblins in the next room and they just kind of stop hiding and just like start to mull around like, uh, phew, that's just a good thing that, uh, there's nobody coming. I will uh, put four fingers up for Barda to see, and I'll point down the hall. Uh, Barda would give him a thumbs up, saying, signifying that he understands, and he would point it back towards the other two that are further back. I'll, uh, I'll motion for him to tell them to come up quietly. Barda would... Uh, signify back uh, uh, come here but finger to his lips to mark uh, signify to be quiet okay what are you guys doing can I see them moving around yeah so I'm going to sneak up and I'm going to sneak attack them. oh you're talking to them yeah, yeah I want to know what they're doing because they're uh you just told them to move up, so I want to know what their plan is. I'll try and stealth my way up there. Okay, roll your check. Okay. 
Okay, you move up. Uh, nobody seems to take notice. Kanishi, what are you doing? I'm going to try to follow suit. It looks easy. Okay, you show them how it's done. Casually saunters down the hall. Okay, um, the goblins go back to uh, relaxing now that the threat is over. Uh, uh, Bart is going to signal for uh, Cory to let him know before he decides to do anything. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going. So I'll signal. All right, right before now. he goes, uh, Bart is going to use his cleric uh, domain spell to cast magic weapon on his sword. Okay. That's pretty sweet. So I will sneak around the corner and go to sneak attack somebody. Okay, roll your stealth. Now everyone's going to see my true luck. There it is. Uh, they do not appear to notice you. I can walk right up to him and stab him in the face. Okay. It's two, right? Yep. You will then be standing alone in a room with three goblin warriors, though. Yeah. So they're all hits because he's flat-footed. Yep. Can I uh, do something in simultaneously? Um, or am I going to have to... Is it going to be initiative from there? I figured... Um, uh, if you move... If you move during uh, his uh, stealth, you have to roll a stealth, and if they right. notice you... I will you... do it during his stealth, then. I will wait until after he gets in there, because I don't want to ruin what he already was able to do. Okay. But I will ready a, a spear um, at, while he's doing that. Oh, I just realized I didn't pick my, mine up earlier. I only have one. You also have all your javelins. Okay. I murder him. That'll be 25 years for premeditated goblin murder. Okay, um, the goblin... Actually, you can uh, roll a stealth check while you are murdering him. Nice, okay. Well, uh... They notice their companion die, but they don't uh, react to a scream or anything. They just kind of look around and see him laying there all bloody, and they stand up. Um, and then it's initiative. What's the subtraction for a spear? I think spear is six. I didn't expect it to be as bad as the bastard sword. <laughs> Uh, might be four. Did you check the document? Did not. I uh, one second. I don't have it open at the you, moment. Well, we can continue with the six for now, and then I'll check the document for future reference. What weapon? Spear. Spear. Might be four. Six. Called it. I never said four. Okay, Kanishi, you're up first. Are you continuing to stealth away? No, that was seeing if I heard the uh, killing. Oh, uh, I would say no, because he had a 24 for his stealth check, and he's around the corner and down the hall. The good news is they don't know that I'm here. They just know that guy's dead. All right, and that's far as I go. Okay, 
Uh, then it is the uh, goblins. They will all make their perception checks. Uh, they scan the room looking for whatever the hell is happening, and then they start down the hall. Are you sticking out around the corner there, Barda? No, I, I think I had accidentally moved my character earlier. Um, when I was probably moved to see. When I said I was going to move and then changed my mind, I think I had accidentally moved him around the corner. Okay, so he... <laughs> uh, Corey, you get an attack of opportunity on the goblin as he walks right past you, standing there against the wall. Oh, possible critical. And it's a hit. Uh, Barta, the so... other goblin, comes around the corner and kind of panics that you're there and takes a swing at you. So that is maximum in plus two. So it's eight plus the five, right? Because it's not all doubled, it's just more. Yeah, yeah, you get uh, six for the first hit and two for the roll and then your sneak attack on top of that. So he is at zero. Yeah, he would be, uh, yeah, zero. And then the other one attacks Barda. Kind of as a surprised reaction, he comes over the corner. Ah! <laughs> but he uh, swings wildly and misses. And the other one comes around the corner, also rather surprised. And uh, he moves up on Kanisha. But he has to double move to get there, so we are on to Corey. It's your go. Oh, you are no longer hidden. I, I kind of want to provoke, but it's probably a bad idea, so I'll just attack this guy twice. Just run past him to the flank position? <laughs> yeah, and make him attack me so he, he falls unconscious. Okay, you off another goblin. It's amazing how much more damage I can do from stealth. Uh, yeah, uh, that's why I always tell rogues they never want to stop putting points in stealth, because the more you stealth, the better you are. Okay, I move up and provide a flank for uh, Garda. And Kanishi, if he wants to move over one. Uh, then we're on to Jordina. Oh. The goblin to the north of you, directly north of you, is flanked. And flanked is his condition, so you get the plus two to hit him if you want to attack that goblin. Don't I have to have line of effect? You're standing right in front of him. The goblin's just north of you. Yeah, but someone's in the way. Or yeah, but you have precise, precise shot. shot allow me to do that. Yeah, precise shot allows you to shoot into combat. You ignore the cover modifier for your allies. Oh, awesome. And I will take a full round attack. Oh, my. And miss with both of them. Or no. I hit 22 is a hit. I forgot to do the damage for the other one. But yeah. Here we go. Are you using your electricity thing? Yep, that's why it's in there. Okay. How many of those do you have left? One. <laughs> okay. Just checking. Okay, so just uh, note the damage on him, and then we are on to Barda. All right, uh, I'll go ahead and attack the one in front of me. 
This is where having cleave is awesome. Don't worry, he didn't listen to me. He didn't take it. <laughs> I'm going to assume that myth is. Yeah, just barely, though. There you see 14. Don't you have a magic weapon currently? No, because that was on the sword. I didn't expect him to move up right away. I I was oh, you still have your serum. Combat started. No, Corey uh, really fucked things up. And then you rolled bad for initiative. Corey didn't really F things up. Corey's killed two of them. <laughs> I mean, Corey's doing great. He fucked the whole situation up. If he hadn't killed everything, you would have had a chance to move out and attack. See? It's all, all Kenny's fault. Okay, uh, then we're back to initiative. I think so. Where's my initiative token? Barter level uh, initiative rolling on my part. Corey, you're up first. It seems like a waste to put two sneak attacks on that guy. So well, I can just five foot, yeah. It might not go last this time. Well, watch, we missed twice now. What up? imagine it'll happen when you actually have a damage modifier. No kidding. I stab him with my 11 strength. Okay, then we're on to Barda. You can drop your spear and draw your... Uh, Magic sword, if you want. Do one movement action? Well, you can drop the spear as a free action. You can draw your sword as a move action, and you can attack as a standard action. Go ahead and do that. But remember to pick up your spear this time. Yep. You can technically run outside and grab your other spear, too. Oh, oh where's the boom? I rolled, I rolled the wrong number there. I rolled a six for the damage. That was supposed to be a d10. I forgot to change that part. That's fine. Nine points will kill either one of them. Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and attack the one directly in front of me for that. Okay. So he's toast, and you you still have your swift action if you want to take a five foot step. No, I. Okay, well, then we'll move on to the <laughs> goblin, uh, who screams, uh, throws his axe on the ground, and drops to his knees and uh, begs for mercy. Yorgo, uh, Georgina. Do we want to kill him? I say we kill him. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> that is uh, should, very should, compassionate of you. Damn it. Finally get a good damage roll. And the attack roll sucks. And you used up your last electricity. Yep. Okay, Kenichi, you're up. I think I'm going to help the goblin make his appointment.
Nope. By writing it down for him? I was hoping to make an appointment to meet the god, but no. Okay, we come back around to Corey. Oh, are we rolling initiative? No, you guys just have to determine what you're going to do with the goblin. If you're going to kill him, kill him. If you're going to save him, save him. Oh, no, I kill him. <laughs> the party of compassion. He begs for mercy, we can take his head off. Okay, well, roll your attack. Oh, yeah, he's very dead. Okay, little bits of goblin all over the floor. Too bad he wasn't an orc. Oh, you get bonuses for killing orcs? <laughs> I get affiliation for killing orcs and drow. Well, you'll like the uh, dungeon then. Uh, I'd have to kill them by myself, though, so I'm probably never going to get... I'm not going to get that till way later. Well, if you sneak up and kill them uh, like you did these goblins... I don't think that's going to happen on some drow. No, it's not likely to happen on the drow, but it might happen on the orcs. Uh, we loot the bodies. Okay. Uh, again, four battle axes, uh, four potions, and another 20 uh, javelins if you want them. Or cure minor potions? Uh, they are, in fact. I will take one of those cure minor potions. As noted before... Um, I will also take one. They say heal on them in Goblin. Doesn't give you any real indication of how much they heal, but... And you said 20 Javelins? Yeah. yeah I don't know if anyone even cares about the Javelins, but... Uh, what did they... I took one of the potions. What, did it, what would it heal? Oh, I thought you just I rolled it. I assumed it. D3 plus yeah, 5. That's what sure. it is. Yep, it heals you back the 8 points of your 4. Yeah, it was a little... Oh, my bad. Sorry, what was that? Is there anything going on with these statues? Um, they appear to be suits of armor. Um, these ones are uh, breastplate. They look like they've been uh, riveted or welded to basically be freestanding. They're on little pedestals. But uh, time has not been uh, kind to them. Okay. Uh, their shields have um, a symbol on them. And uh, they what kind of shields are they? They are large uh, metal shields, heavy shields. Heavy steel, shield heavy steel. Yeah, but they're welded to the uh, the armor set. Oh, uh, I thought you said they were just welded to stay up, but I didn't know if you said the armor was welded to it. Yeah, it's all kind of uh, riveted and uh, melded together, so it's a, kind of like a sculpture. And it's, it's been down here for a long time, so it's not in great shape. What's the symbol? Um, you can roll a knowledge religion check. Uh, Barda, you immediately recognize the symbol. Um, it is the symbol of your uh, arch enemy, uh, Nitros. Corey also figures it out. I would def I would uh, knock each one of the statues down if possible. No, don't make that much noise. All right, I get stopped before do I'm able to do it. What are you doing, Kenichi? Knowledge relationship. Okay, you also have no difficulty identifying the symbol of uh, Nitros. Um, can I roll a knowledge local to see if I know anything about what this particular structure is here? Uh, yeah. Um, you've heard some rumors about uh, a tomb in the hills nearby, but 
you haven't really heard anything specific about it. Okay. Um, I searched this room to see if there's any uh, any goodies here. Uh, no, there doesn't appear to be anything of value in here. A couple of. Uh... Art is going to comment on the um, the suit's armor. He's going to say it's strange that goblins would be paying got a order. Um, Barda, you can roll. You can roll a knowledge religion check. Um, you realize that uh, uh, what's his face, Meglubiet, the goblin god has a special ritual for sanctifying uh, other temples in his name, and it requires a blood sacrifice. Uh, I think I figured out why they would be uh, sacrificing the girl now. You're a genius. Yeah. Comment. Uh, that was commenting to the group. Uh, thank you. Letting and I'll tell really? him what you said. <laughs> I'll tell him what you said. I kept that last week. I figured what she might be. Looks like Kenny's safe now. We got someone new to mock. I'm going to move up by the goblin. I'm never body. safe. Okay, are you doing anything? Nope. I'm just going to wait for everyone else because I'm the squishy of the party. Well, to be fair, you probably have the same armor class and hit points as the guy leading. Yeah. That's Trying to afford point. better armor. That's why I was hoping I could take it on these guys. Yeah, how's your armor class 17? Or do you have your numbers backwards? No, no, no. My armor class isn't 17. No, Jordana's. Oh. Yeah, there's modifiers that I forgot to put on because I have a chain shirt. Yeah, but a chain shirt's two and two. And then your dexterity on top of that. What else have you got? Yeah, for some reason I have it as four. Yeah, that's. Uh, you've obviously modified it after we finished your character sheet. The two points in damage reduction are the other two points of your chainmail armor class. Yeah, I realized that after looking at the thing, because I got confused. Sorry. No worries. Once again, why we play first level. I need better armor. I am at 13 AC. What's your dex? Zero, because I switched over to... Uh, to Cleric, yeah. Cleric, yeah. And I can't, and I can't uh, take any other stats as a negative, especially if I want to keep luck. Which, by the way, I should probably start using that. Yeah, you might um, want to do that. Uh, but especially when if, you miss by I one. To keep good points into luck. I had to sacrifice Dex because I can't sacrifice Charisma because that's your how many turns or rebukes you get, uh, oh. which is going to be important if I want to take Divine Meta Magic. And then I had to switch over something to Wisdom so that I could actually cast spells. No, that all makes sense. Normally, the cleric has a shitty Dex. Okay, so what are you guys doing? Um, I will uh, start sneaking down this hall now. Sorry, I started describing the room. It's just uh, a couple of lambskin rugs that they're using as beds and mostly just debris all over the place. They really made a mess in here. So I'll sneak up to the next junction and I'll search. I'll be looking for traps on the way up. Okay. I'm going to step away real quick just to have another drink. Right, okay. I'll be right back. Less than a minute. 
Okay, uh, there is a pressure plate on the floor just in front of you. Okay, I'm, it's probably, how hard is it going to be to disarm that? Pretty hard? Um, same as the DC for noticing it. Um, I'll just avoid it. Okay. I will, uh, I'll take a piece of chalk and lightly roll, like, write on it. Just a big X. Not hard enough to actually put push the plate down, but enough that it leaves a mark. Nice. Okay. Anyone else doing anything? Jordan is going to move up. I wish you can see what's going on. Other than that, she's done. Okay, anyone else taking an action? That's it for me. How did you avoid the trap, Corey? I walked around it. Where did you walk around it to? There. Then there. Then there. Then there. Then there. Okay, well you can roll your reflex uh, save. Is it a spell or is it like something else? No, it is a uh, big blade that comes out of the roof at you. Oh, well. Striking you for two points of damage. You got off easy. Okay. Um, I searched the area again for traps. Okay. You notice there's a trap right behind you. Go back and ask where oh where we're literally right behind you no i was just joking because you just stepped on the trap okay um i go back to the group and ask for uh, a heel check you asked for what one of the potions a heel check no oh, a heel, heel check a heel check from whoever has the best heel check probably the druid Joe tends to make super heel check guys. Does the cleric have a good heel check as well? Winning. Well, that's great. So I'll just keep my two points of damage. Okay, you can roll your perception check for uh, more traps. I think I really do think Joe's trying to get me killed today. Surely. Why? Because he leaves you out in the middle of the battlefield to die and then doesn't heal you? So I sent him a message and I said, Hey, Joe, summon something right on the other side over here. And he summoned it to the wrong person. That's why I died in the first one. Well, that's pretty meta of you. You shouldn't be sending messages. <laughs> oh, and I was like, I was like, Hey, well, I just was like, help a brother out. And he's like, what do you want me to do? I'm like, oh, well, if you're actually taking requests here, uh, so just summon, like, do that. That'd be great. Help the guy who gets a bonus when flanking. Flank. Oh, you mean the fighter? <laughs> you mean this other guy over here? You got it. Okay. Um, you in a mass battle. You notice there is a third pressure plate to the south. Okay, I'll mark that pre pressure plate like I did the first one. You tripped the middle one, right? Yeah. And oh, and then the other two you marked. Oh, 
we're all watching this happen, right? Because it's within our line of sight. Yep. Yeah, you saw me uh, get uh, scalped. Scythe of death is the term. Okay, what are you doing now? I peer down that corridor, and I don't see anything. But I'll I'll make a perception check looking down that corridor. Maybe someone's hidden. Nice. Um... You don't notice anybody hidden, but you do notice that there is another pressure plate around the corner. When you don't oh. say you're looking for traps, you have to beat the DC by 10, which you easily did. Well, I'll mark that trap as well. Wait, trap finding is plus two to finding traps, right? Trap finding is basically nothing. It just allows you to find just, yeah. really complicated traps. Yeah. I generally allow anyone to make a perception check to find the trap because finding the trap rarely does much other than allow you to do something silly like jump on top of it. Right, because there is something called trap finding in plus one. <laughs> no, that's trap sense. That gives you a bonus trap to your sense. save. Yeah, if you had had trap sense when that attacked you, it would have given you a bonus on your save. Okay, so I will mark that trap as well, and then I will search for traps down the hall. Okay, you do not notice any traps down the hall. You do notice on the eastern wall, there is a uh, relief carved into the wall. Oh yeah, is there anything special about it? Any like switches that unlock secret doors or anything? Uh, you could roll a perception check and search it. There does not appear to be anything particularly special about it. It is a depiction of uh, the Knights of Fairfax uh, battling chaos. Oh, I don't like that. No, you guys uh, really didn't uh, go along with the theme. We started out with uh, Barda being a follower of Tyr, and now you're all chaotic. <laughs> well, he went the complete opposite. I will go up to that door, and I will search for traps, and I will listen at the door to see if I hear anybody on the other side. Okay. Uh, being, being that he uh, it kind of disappeared around the corner, can I step up to the corner before he does anything else? Yep. You guys can take your actions every time he takes his action, and just nobody seems to be doing anything. Well, the plan was to for him to wave us forward, but he never did so. So now I'm wanting to make sure yeah. that we, that we uh we keep up. Uh, Kanishi, you can roll a perception check. Thirty-four. You notice the uh, suit of armor uh, to the east of you. Well, it is not in particularly good shape um, over the years, nor is the sword that it's holding. Uh, although the sword looks really nice, um, the cloak it is wearing is in immaculate shape. Uh, when you listen at the door, you can hear the cries of a woman. Okay. I take the cloak. Uh, the cloak does not come free, uh, but you do take D3 points or three points of uh, shock damage from the suit of armor. Is there a lock on this door, John? Um. I would say you'd have to try it to determine whether or not it's locked. Um, at first glance, it just looks like a handle. Okay. Uh, 
um, yeah. Mm, I'm going to try something, but I, I really don't want to die. I waved to Barda to wave everybody out. Barda would wave back to them. Would wave back to Jordina. I want to say that's Jordina back there. Yep. It is. And then Barda would follow forward. Jordina will follow, avoiding the trap. Okay, so I've got my weapons out, and uh, I will try the door, but I won't open it all the way. If it is unlocked, I'll open it a crack, and I will say something in Goblin. But let me know if I actually open the door. Uh, if you try the door, the door is not locked. Okay, so I open the, the door just to crack so that nobody can see that I'm there. I'll hide as well. And I will say, uh, uh, sorry to bother you, boss. Um, I got something out here I think you should see. Uh, can you come see? Can you come here, please? Okay, you can hear um, the uh, girl crying. Um, she sounds kind of exhausted, like she's been crying and screaming for a while. You can hear chanting in the background, and then you hear, uh, another voice call out, deal with it yourself. We're busy right now. Okay, well, I whisper to the group, uh, are uh, you guys ready? It sounds like there's spellcasters in there. Yeah, let me move up. John, I'm going to summon my uh, summon. You're going to summon your summon? Oh, are you using summon nature's ally? Desert ally. Why is it desert ally? Because they take it summons the dust, the dirt to create a dust form, so it creates a construct. So you get a bunch of positives, but with one glaring weakness. Which is? If they take a bludgeoning weapon crit, they have to make a will saver instantly die. Okay, so make sure all the enemies have bludgeoning weapons. Got it. Hang on, he's got to re the encounter. Sorry, what was that? Hang on, he's got to re the encounter. It was a, a small joke about the weapons. All right, so uh, who's going in first? Can take the lead if you want to try to sneak after me. Okay. I will do. That. Hopefully, when I have your armor, it's more effective to do this, but I can still do so. Okay, are we all ready? Yep. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and ready um, one of the javelins to immediately throw it after I open after I kick open the door. If that's okay. Okay. Hopefully there's an enemy there, otherwise I'm just going to kick open the door and there'll be nothing else. Kick open the door, step in, and I don't see anything, so <laughs> I guess I'll just keep walking. Alright, so the dynamic lighting is kind of messed up on that door then. That's to let you know there is a door. Yeah, what is messed up about it? I will walk up to the statue, I guess. I don't want the statue. I'm not. Okay, you uh, can still hear the uh, chanting. Um, when you kick open the door, uh, Cassandra starts screaming, calling for help. Okay. What are you doing, Barda? Uh, I will round corner on the statue, I guess. You will what? Round corner. Okay, stop there. 
you know where the where you were. Okay. Oh, I might be behind on roll twenty here. No worries. It's <laughs> just the second voice is waiting there to attack you. Oh dear God! I didn't. Damn it! I refreshed. Okay, he swings and misses. So as you come around the statue, there is a hobgoblin hiding on the backside of it. And uh, he uh, makes an attack of opportunity on you, missing horribly, and then it's initiative. Uh, Barda, you can uh, roll a... Do you speak goblin? I do not. I don't have the intelligence for anything more than common. Okay. Um, you have knowledge religion, Corey? I don't have it, no. Oh, I thought you rolled a knowledge religion check earlier. You, you told me to. I did it untrained. Oh, okay. I have knowledge local. That's the only knowledge skill that I have. Okay, Kanishi, do you speak goblin? I see goblin. No. Okay. Well, you guys will have to do a coordinated attack. Minus one initiative. That's terrible. I definitely have to cheat better on my hobgoblins. We kind of all barreled in. I was stealthed in behind him. I rolled a 17 for initiative, but it didn't go into the tracker. Although I actually don't even know if I could have made it there stealthed. Let me do my count. No, I'd be where the dust devil is. That's fine. Just move the dust devil out of the way. Even though I'm standing at the door, that whole hallway area is black to me. Yeah, it's because there's no light in the hallway. There's a light in the eastern uh, tunnel, and there's a light in the room, but there's no light in the hallway. And there's no line of sight for the light to get into the hallway. Ah, uh, okay. The goblins have dark vision, so it doesn't bother them that there's a little dark spot there. Okay, so the Hobgoblin wins initiative, so he will attack Barda again. Not missing this time. Wailing on him for 10 points. Ouch. And then it's Barda's go. I'm going to back up. Uh with a five step and then drop and draw. And I'm guessing because the statue's there, that's considered out of his... Um... Yep, the statue provides uh, cover around the corner. Okay, I'm going to step back one more time to here, and then I'm going to uh, <clears throat> take one of the potions. Okay. How many potions do you guys have left? We had, we picked up three from that last encounter, and I think I was the only one that took one. No, I've got one. I took one from that pile, too. What, you, did you actually drink it, or you just you just have it on you? I just have it. Yeah, I think I have. I took two and took and drank one at the time, and then... Okay, uh, who has... So I would have one more on me. So we have a total of three. I don't know who's carrying the last one. Probably makes sense for you to be carrying it since you seem to be uh, the one up front. Yeah, hopefully it goes better when I actually get some armor. <laughs> hopefully I can make some gold off of this and we can get some armor off. Of there's there's awesome loot in here, so you won't have any trouble getting armor. 
Not that a chain shirt's bad armor. You just don't have anything to go with it. On I have scale mail, actually. The problem oh. is that, that scale mail provides a plus four, and two is sent to AC and two to um, resistance. So I just need to upgrade to a better armor. Yep. Get better AC and resistance. On that note, you can roll a perception check. Me? Yep, you. Eight. There. Oh, never mind. You were oblivious. Okay, so are you doing anything else? No, that's my full round. Okay, then we're on to Corey. Um, that's a good question. We'd have to look it up. I think it is a standard action to wild shape because there's a feat for fast wild shape and swift wild shape. Yeah, it's a it's a standard to wild shape. I think it used to be a full round action to it wild shape. It used to shape. be a full round, yeah. But it's not. It they got rid of that because it's not very helpful if you can't change anything. Well, whether it's a full round action or a standard action, you still can't do anything else meaningful the same round. But yeah, you can yep. turn to a bird and fly away. Are you done, uh, Corey? Yeah, I stealthed up to there. I don't know what's going on, right? So I stealthed up to see what was happening. That's only a single stealth, though. Yep. You're right. So I could technically move up and attack, right? No, no, no. If I move up, I just move up. So I'll just wait here. Okay. Uh, I can see Barda down there, so. Then it is the uh, Dust Devil's turn. Yeah, I can't see anything, so he's going to stay right there. Okay, uh, then it's your go. And I'm going to cast my favorite spell, Sileli. Nice. And then attack the summon thing? No. Okay, uh, Jordina, you're up. I'm going to take a five-foot step forward and ready an action to... Well, never mind. I'll just step forward. Okay, uh, then it's initiative. Dear Lord. Okay, so the Dust Devil's up first. I assume he's not doing anything? Yeah, he can't see anything to attack, so that's it. I assume you're doing the same? Uh, I'm going to wild shape to a baboon. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay, and then the Hobgoblin will move up and attack Bart. Wailing on him once again. For a whopping five points. Don't forget to take your damage reduction off. What is that weird plant creature? Or is it just a hobgoblin? Uh, yeah, it's just a hobgoblin. Zoom in a little more. He looks like a tree. Yeah, he's got like a weird horned helmet or something. Okay, uh, Barda, you're up. How long has passed since our last combat? Uh, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. 
Okay. Why? Oh, because you had a spell going? I had to know whether or not my spell was still going, but 10 minutes is definitely a no to that. Yeah, Corey spent a lot of time uh, playing in the hallway. I am doing terrible on these rolls today. That is unbelievable. Okay, uh, Corey, you're up. I'll keep sneaking. I'm going to go attack somebody if I can, but I can't see anybody other than that shaman. The uh, shaman is kind of dancing and chanting uh, and waving around a uh, ceremonial blade. Well, I don't see anybody, so I'll just kill the shaman, I guess. Okay. No, I won't. No, I won't. There you go. You've all seen my real luck. It's there. It's right there for everyone to see. When it matters. So he doesn't have his dexterity. Um, does that change it? Does it bring it down to five to a nine? No, the only thing I think he has is his uh, armor. Okay. Definitely doesn't bring it down to a nine. But now I see that other guy. I might have to go try and uh, save part of Maybe. Um, Jordina, you're up. All right. I can see the hobgoblin here does that mean i can shoot him with a bow yes but you would suffer a minus four penalty for cover okay and i'm guessing it's going to be the same penalty for one of my ranged spells uh magic missile wouldn't suffer a penalty um anything that you have to roll against would suffer the cover penalty All right, then I'm going to move in and up to here. That way I can see what's going on and get out of the way, basically. Okay, when you move through an occupied square, it counts as double movement. So you've used 20 of your 30 feet. Yep, and I'll stay here. And does the shaman have um, cover for a sp against a spell? Uh, no, because you have precise shot, and the only cover at the moment is Corey. Okay, then I am going to cast Electric Jolt. Okay, that's a swift action. I do not even see an attack roll. Yeah, I was just looking at that. I was like, where's your attack roll? Oh, your attack roll is in the range. For some reason. It says close. Yeah, it should, oh, no. It that, be, that should be the range. Yeah, no, that's a calculation. No, I don't see anywhere in there. Oh, no, there it is. The caster level check is uh, a d20 roll. But, yeah. Okay. Well. Just roll a d20. What's your bonus? For ranged, it's three. Okay, that would be a miss. You still have your standard action if you want to do something else. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a four. But it's still not enough. Yeah, you got to get to 12. Yeah. Uh, I will stay put and in my turn 
Okay. Uh, then we are back to initiative. If I don't have my bow ready, do I still take the penalty? Whatever you're doing as your standard action is your initiative modifier. So if you're not going to fire your bow like you didn't fire it last round, then you wouldn't use the bow penalty. But if you don't use the bow penalty, then you can't fire your bow. Right. Was there a reason you didn't take the shot last round? Yeah, I didn't have my bow ready, and I figure spells would be better in close quarters than using my bow. Fair enough. I get a 12 this time. Yay! <laughs> you go first, too. Alright, I will attempt to cast Firebolt. And I don't have that in there either. Holy crap. Damn it. Right. So much for having all your macros set up. Sorry? I said so much for having all your macros set up. You said the other day you got them all set up. Apparently you missed a few. I thought I had all mine set up too, and I didn't even have an attack one ready. Which is usually the first one I set up. You left a bracket out of your uh, macro. Wow, that's that's a good shot. Okay, that's easily hit, so you can roll your damage. I think that's just uh, D3, unless you have something that boosts it. Yeah, it's a D3, and for some reason it calculated the damage as negative 1. Give me a second. You've got minus 2.5 in there for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. No worries. Okay, just note the uh, two points for your firebolt. Are you doing anything else? That's only your swift action. Unless I can do it again. Then yeah, you can do it uh, until you run out of spell slots. Okay. You still have your move and your standard. You can cannibalize as uh, swift actions if you want. Yeah, I'll do it again. Or not. Actually, 12 is a hit. Okay. That is his touch damage. AC. Yep. Okay. I do not see his bubbles, so I cannot subtract it. Oh, okay. It's probably because he's on the edge of the map. So you did three points? Yep. Okay. Um, I will roll a check for him. He uh, continues chanting. Are you doing anything else? Nope. I only got one spell slot left. Okay. Uh, Barda, you're up. Corey, who's up? Like, oh, sorry, well. Corey. I jumped right past you. I don't know. Why am I thinking I'm on Barda? Why am I rolling such garbage? I uh, take a five foot step back. See that? Those were the exact same rolls as last time. You're amazing, Kenny. Good night, sweet prince. Okay, Kenichi.
I'm going to hang back. Okay. Uh, Barda, you're up. That's two crit fails in a row. You're my hero. I roll twenty hates me. I roll so well on dice when I play with friends in person. I know. I always <laughs> say that too. Okay, then we're on to the hobgoblin, and the hobgoblin will five foot back, and then move up on Corey. I haven't even had the opportunity to use power attack yet because I know I'm going to roll poorly, so I don't want to lose one point. Yeah, power attacks are pretty crappy feet at low levels. If you don't take crave, yeah. it's kind of pointless to even take it. Yeah, I probably should have taken maybe uh, a different feat at low level and get a power attack later. Or take power attack and cleave. Um, Corey, he takes a swing at you and misses horribly. And uh, the goblin shaman continues to chant. And I assume the dust devil is going to do nothing again. No, I forgot. He's got a blind sense out to 60 feet, so I tell him to go find and attack the shaman. Okay. Except I can't... I literally can't see anything on the board. You didn't give me sight of the shot, uh, summon. Okay, I'll move him up. Okay, as he goes past the... Uh... Hobgoblin, he provokes. So he takes seven points of slashing damage as he goes by. He's got an AC of 20. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. That's insane. How's his AC 20? That's just how he is. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Then he doesn't get hit. And it is initiative. The summon is a better tank than the rest of us. Yeah, that's why you summon things. Okay, uh, Jordina, you're up first. She is still not using her bow. However, this time she's going to use her shocking strike. I thought you were all out of those. Oh, no, you're using your... Like oh, yeah, you're right. You're using your arcane strike. Correct. Okay. Fire away. And I forgot a macro for this one, too. That's fine. You missed with the first one. You doing anything else? No, because I can't use my bow now. So, And you're out of uh, zero level spells? I only have one left. I will. I'll go ahead and do that. Is there some reason you're not using your bow that has an infinite amount of attacks? I don't want to have to try and find arrows later. I have a quiver of arrows you can have. It's the red of arrows. And you're an, hour, you're an hour away from town. I just cannot hit this guy. It's pissing me off. Okay. Uh, then we're on to the hobgoblin. He will attack uh, Corey again. Wailing on him good this time. Seven points to Corey. And then it's uh, Barda's turn. Move up to here to flank him and hack. Uh, 
Well, it was originally my plan, but Corey moved away from the shaman. That was awesome damage. I fucking believe this. Three times in a row. Holy shit. Okay, then it's your turn, Corey. Um, here's my turn to roll a two and a three. Yeah, but it won't be three ones in a row. Oh, that's it. I don't even know what to say at this point. This is ridiculous. Oh, that's a hit because it's a flank. Yeah, I can't believe you rolled three ones in a row. That is highly improbable. Three on every hit? That fucking sucks. That's nah, just a little under average. No, I'm saying his, his fucking damage reduction. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got a shield and uh, masterwork studded leather, so he's pretty tanky. It's the same as Barda. Well, it's the same as me, plus whatever masterwork armor gives. Yeah, he has two and two for his armor and uh, two and one for his uh, shield. I think it's one and one for his shield. I think you have two and two for your armor and one and one for your shield. He just has the 16 decks. Because goblins have insane dexterity. Okay, um, then we're on to Kanishi. He needs a druid name. He definitely needs a druid name. Like applesauce. Oh. Can I attack him? Not around the corner, no. The mighty, mighty druid rutabaga. Fruit salad. All right, that's it. Oh, the dust devil missed the, uh, well, the dust creature missed the shaman. Just barely, though. Okay, uh, then we are back to initiative. Ugh, minus one initiative sucks. How is he only a minus one? Oh, the dexterity. <laughs> yeah, he's got uh, two points of dexterity and four for uh, improved initiative. But he's got a minus five weapon and minus two for his armor. Although I think his armor is only minus one. Yeah, I screwed that up. Oh, the it's That's a heavy shield. The heavy shield is minus two. Okay, uh, Dust Devil's up first. Scores a mighty hit. Ouch, that's a serious concentration check. At negative one? Concentration check at negative one? Oh, he doesn't get a concentration check when he's dead. That makes sense. Okay, well then he stops chanting. And it is Corey's turn. You are my hero. Sneak attack on the Hobgoblin. One point of damage. Uh, Barda, you're up. Oh. Um, 
Yeah, so I missed again, but I'm going to go ahead and move one spot. Okay. Then it is the Hobgoblin's turn, and he will finish off the uh, Why rogue. Why are you minus one? Minus one for what? That was I was attempting to have the power attack in there, but it <clears throat> because oh. I hoped with flanking, it w I would at least maybe hit this time. And that's still a no. And I would have missed it without it anyways. What's that? Did you step out of a flank? Yeah, so Only Joe after can I move attacked. up. Oh. Only after I attacked. Okay. He's still flanked, but... He's not flanked anymore. He's not flanked diagonally? No, because he's no flanked one. by the sand monster. Oh, right, you can't threaten but with the statue there. Yeah, with the statue there, you can't uh, threaten him. He swings and misses Corey. Corey needs to leave. Oh my god. Okay, uh, then it's Kanishi's turn. Lowers the boom. Max damage with the shillelagh. That's uh, pretty brutal. Nineteen after damage reduction. Ouch. Okay, so well, he's still twenty got... means max damage, right? Sorry, what was that? Well, twenty means he gets max damage off that, right? Yeah, he didn't confirm, so he doesn't get extra damage. So he just does whatever yeah. his maximum is. Okay, uh, Georgina, you're up. I'm going to move here, and I'm going to use my quarter staff. You'll provoke if you move through that uh, square. Okay. It'll be the first time I get hit. And probably the last. Yeah, probably. So you take 10 points of damage from a critical strike on the longsword, and then you can roll your attack. Okay. Don't do anything. Then we are back to initiative. But the hobgoblin is now completely surrounded. Ugh, and rolled crap in ish. Okay, Dust Devil's up first. And the Dust Devil finishes off the, uh, the Hobgoblin. That thing is insane. How long does that last for? Same as a normal summon, so the one round per level. But didn't Don't you extend summons a little bit? Yeah, it's one minute a level. One round a level means it would do nothing. That makes summons worthless up until like level 10. Yeah, that's why you changed it. The worst part is, is you're getting ready to do some big attack and you're like, okay, I uh, summon monster. And then I do this and this, and I summon another monster, and right when we're ready to attack, they all start disappearing. Yeah, it's unfun. Okay, so you managed to kill all of the uh, monsters. <laughs> 